Do you want to know how a B scooter like the Nami Blast Max handles a long range high speed commute through New York? You're in luck because that's exactly what we're doing in today's video. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. What is going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. First and foremost, shout out to Chuck and our friends at Fluid Free Ride for letting us do this video with the Blast Max. I've bought several scooters from them over the last three years and they've serviced all of them. They've done an amazing job. So if you're in the market for a scooter, please check them out if you are in New York. They are located in Brooklyn. You know, I've been getting a lot of requests for this video since I did the first impressions in July. So I hope you're as excited as I am about this ride. Today we're going to be going from Queens over the Kosciuszko Bridge into Brooklyn. Then we're going to make our way down to Brooklyn Bridge, take that over into Manhattan, make our way to the west side, and then blast our way up. <laughs> See what I did there? Blast our way up the west side into Midtown Manhattan where we work. We're finally gonna put the Blast Max through its New York City paces, so I am pretty excited to see the real world range and what it's actually like to commute with a scooter like this here in New York. There's gonna be a lot of stop and go there's going to be a lot of bad roads. There's going to be some elevation changes. And given the opportunity, we might even get a top speed run out of this. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Since this is going to be a longer video, I'm aware that it will require a longer time commitment, so I've put chapters down below. We're also running the Relive app here on the right, so that means at the end of the video, we are gonna have a recap of the route that we took, as well as some of the stats that were generated on this ride. And with that ambulance there, I think that is a perfect segue into our two disclaimers today. Uh, disclaimer number one is I am not familiar with this scooter. So that means I am wearing my motorcycle helmet, I am wearing motorcycle gloves, and I'm also wearing body armor. Second disclaimer is we are gonna be riding aggressively and given the opportunity, I'm gonna open up the throttle. However, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be riding recklessly. I'm always gonna be fully aware of where I am. And I'm also gonna be respectful of the people that are in the road with me. Let's see here. We are at 64.7 volts right now, which is roughly equivalent to 83%. We are running X mode, which means we are at 100% throttle. 100% acceleration and 100% of motor output. If you haven't seen my first impressions video of the Blast Max and you're curious to see what my first impressions were on the scooter and you want to know about the stats of the scooter, I am going to leave a card right here so that you can watch it and then you can resume this video as soon as you're done or you're welcome to watch it as soon as you're finished with this video. The one thing I did mention in that video was the scooter was a little jumpy at in X mode. So maybe a couple of miles on the scooter will change that. But so far, I kind of still stand by that. But We'll see how we feel at the end of it. This might be our first opportunity to get a top speed run here. Brace ourselves and let's go. <laughs> yeah. ah, this thing is fast. She 
knees were already at 43 miles an hour. Holy cow. 47. Off a hill. Okay, we'll slow down a little bit here. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> And as a shorter person, I am 5'8-ish, maybe a little taller with my dress shoes, but where these handlebars are located with the shorter stem is perfect. Okay, we're clear there and we are clear here, so let's go! It's definitely a very different riding experience from my from my burning. Very different. Uh, why are you squeezing me in the bike lane? I need to be going at a certain speed in order for the vents in the motorcycle helmet to really do anything. <laughs> I think the Icon Air Flights have amazing ventilation for a motorcycle helmet because you have those massive intakes in the mouth and then you have the uh, vents up top, but we're not necessarily going at motorcycle speeds, so it is not exactly cool under here, but protection over coolness, right? There's Quite a bit of road traffic for this time in the morning. There's quite a bit of people as well, which is surprising. Oh. Yeah, I keep, what the hell? Yo, people are crazy. This is once again, once again, I have to reiterate. We are doing this as aggressively as we can, but we also have to be mindful that people just jump out and start running because their jogging route is more important than their lives. Like that lady, she didn't even bother looking I wish it would open up a little bit. Well, maybe down when we get to South Williamsburg and Brooklyn Navy Yard, we might be able to catch some more speed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is pretty harsh on these stiffer suspensions. There is usually a bike lane that we jump on here, but given our setup right now, we are not gonna do that. The motorcycle helmet is like a, a no-go. But we'll have to take the bike lane over the Brooklyn Bridge because scooters are not allowed on the roads on the bridge. Which makes sense, but... Come on, Breda. You know, with the with how quiet it is in the motorcycle helmet, I didn't even realize that we were already at like 46 miles an hour there. 
<laughs> oh, that's insane. That's really dangerous. If we had the TSG on it, they'll already be like, oh, you know, you're drowning in, in air, but not with this. You know, I was going to do this as a round trip commute of 30 miles, but later tonight it's supposed to start raining and it's going to rain for the next, like, I think, two week. Oh, I was waiting for that pothole to come up. I know the X3 is water resistant to a certain extent, but when you have the mic adapter in, all those ports are open and I can't record in the rain. But if any of you guys have any suggestions for how to record in the rain with the X3 with a mic adapter on, please leave it in the comment section down below. And while we're talking about the comment section, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below if you want to keep seeing videos like this or if you have any questions about the Blast, Max or if you just want to say hi you know I get back to all of my comments even the people throwing shade <laughs> if you really like my channel and you want to continue seeing more please consider subscribing. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so that I can notify you anytime a video comes out. So with that being said, I release a video every week on Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. We've been doing e-scooter, e-bike, and e-skate content, so hope you enjoy your stay on the channel. Brooklyn Bridge! You know what? 26 minutes in and 8 miles in, I'm still not quite used to the throttle yet. It's amazing once you kind of like get going and you're at speed because it's really easy to control, but it's still pretty jumpy. At lower speeds, I really think it's just a matter of uh, me getting used to the throttle again. take what roads be careful oh please don't look backwards and start kind of wandering into the oncoming lane. Okay. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna check your phone? Okay. All right, finally in Manhattan. So, remember how I said that the Blast Max is not exactly a 
beginner friendly scooter like the Klima. That's because the Klima's throttle is so easy to control that literally anyone with no experience can jump on it and be flying. Even with thousands of miles under my belt across different types of scooters with sine wave, square wave controllers, it's taken quite a bit of time for me to get used to this, this throttle, so. What? Unlimited power. <laughs> oh my Lord. It's so stable. I'm like thoroughly shot. And we were able to open it up. Remember folks, always maintain proper form when braking. Wow. I didn't even have an opportunity to look down at the speed there. So I'm going to be relying on the Relive app for that top speed there. Yeah, this isn't the type of throttle that you're just gonna mash down. That was an easy 40 there. Wow. Also, one of the things that you got to be careful about here on West Street is those potholes are giants and they come out of nowhere. So I always give myself enough space behind these cars to react to any of these potholes that are coming up. Oh, not today. Yeah, I am. Shocked by how stable this thing is at high speeds. It took me a while to be able to do this on my Bernie because that's one of those types of scooters that, yes, the throttle control is really easy, but Riding posture is so important as far as balance to prevent the wobbles. So. Yep. But regardless, we already knew that the Klima was gonna be the, the easiest to learn. And then you just kind of take your pick which which uh which thing you want to learn you know do you want to learn throttle control here on the blast max or do you want to learn ride stance on the bernie i still stand by my statement that the bernie feels like a pretty agile supercar that's really comfortable and the blast max feels like a muscle car don't get me wrong one's not better than the other but it's just a matter of preference y'all This is, yeah, 
yeah, this is <laughs> the type of roads that the Blast is home at. If I were commuting with this on a day-to-day -day basis, I would probably keep the scooter on driver sport mode. Just to make it a bit more comfortable to commute with. But if I lived in the part of the country where there's just open roads and you got to keep up with high speed traffic, X mode all the way, y'all. <laughs> X mode all the way. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> that was a big pothole. Focus, Ivan. Focus. Of course it's a cab driver. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? You're still stuck in traffic. Regardless of how aggressive you want to drive, you're still in the same place. now at 58.9 volts when we're pulling hard 60% battery So we are, I guess, gonna go through Central Park then. So, okay. We are taking the Super 73 route to Central Park, to the east side. We'll work our way downtown. That's a couple of extra miles. Yeah, this thing definitely pulls insanely hard because my my grip is tired or my hands are tired wow what the hell oh man there's like a whole street here okay see it's it's getting my control of the throttle is getting way better way better fun little detour this morning Oh, we're not going up there. That is glass. And oh my God, look at that giant hole that you possibly just fall into.
terrible. And this is us here. And we are somehow on a parade route. This is the New York City Central Labor Council thing. I don't know what this, oh, Labor Day Parade? Okay. Cool. This is cool. I feel like I have police escort. Very nice. Very, very nice. But, like I was saying, if this is it, thank you for accompanying me on this ride. I really appreciate y'all. So, if anything, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>